question is from Ben Vana. Is there a difference between training with bands or cables? Oh, yeah, there's a big difference. Uh, the benefits of training with the resistance band. So here's the thing. The benefits of training with any form of resistance is typically the unique aspect of that form of resistance that you don't find with other types of, of resistance. Well, so you're, you're manipulating the strength curve. Yes. So bands, what are bands unique for? Why are bands different? Bands, the further you stretch them out, the harder it gets. The harder they pull. So how is that? So it's very different than a cable. A cable... But we have to explain that real quick. So in what I said about manipulating the strength curve, what that means is most extra, most exercises are, are easier at the end of the rep, right? So towards the end, where a band flips that on its head. As you get further at the, towards the end of the rep, the band's being stretched out completely. And so, that the, so then it now makes the exercise more challenging at the end of the rep, more so than it would be if you didn't have a band. Yeah, so think of it this way. If you're do, let's say you're doing a barbell squat, it's going to be hardest at the bottom of the squat. Mm -hmm. It's easiest when you're almost at the very top, right? Like if I gave you a bunch of weight to squat and you just went down three inches, wouldn't be a problem. Try to sit down with that, that weight and come up and you're probably not going to make it up. So by attaching bands to the bar, the bottom of the, the squat is still kind of easy because the band hasn't stretched that much. But as you go up, the band stretches and it gets more and more difficult, applying more resistance when you're stronger. And this, adding bands to weights was an absolute breakthrough for power lifters and strength athletes. And that was a West Side Barbell, right? They were the first ones to really implement this. But Soviet athletes were the were the ones to... Re you know how Soviet athletes messed with variable resistance at first? Mm. It was with... Uh, oh, the little thing that looks the hooks, and, yeah. then you, and then it dumps when you drop it down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember, I, remember thinking, I think I watched a documentary on that, and they talked about that. I saw... You know, uh, Ben Pollock was using those the other day. I saw... I hadn't seen anybody else use those before. I didn't even, never seen anyone else. And they have the hooks, and it, you, a lot, it was common with you know bench or squat... And they're, it's designed that when you hit the bottom, it unhooks so you can come so out. So you lower mm. 500 pounds, but you yeah. only squat up 400. Right. Because that lowering part, you're strong. Yeah, I like for deadlifts, they have that flexible bar. So that way when you're pulling from the ground, you're starting to like rip like each plate off one by one. Oh, and, and right. So yeah, it, it kind of like builds up the resistance as you get higher up in your lockout. It is a lot harder to deadlift with a super stiff bar. I remember what, first time doing that and I didn't realize why. I'm like, why is this so much harder? Yeah. It's because you're lifting all the weight right away. All at once. Yeah. Rather than moving up an inch or whatever yeah, without, it's pretty ingenious. without the whole no it's it's uh bands are an exceptional tool and it I, I didn't use bands until the way later in my training i never used bands. i used to think bands were a complete waste of time when i would when i was working out like bands that's for people who don't have access to weights like that's stupid why are you gonna work yeah. out with bands? well it didn't that's uh, for jazzercise i did not what i didn't understand that's why i wanted to clarify that for those that are listening is uh, i didn't understand how it was manipulating the strength curve and why that's important because unless you're doing that you can't really match you can't the, tell yeah you just can't but cables now cables are consistent all the way through right right so the resistance that you get with a cable at the at the bottom of the of the the exercise and the top of the exercise it's consistent all this it's matching the strength curve all the way through where most other exercises that you're doing that are free weight, uh, there's going to be this natural strength curve that happens as you get towards the end of the rep. It becomes a lot easier, but by adding bands to those, it, it flips that on its head. Yeah, now, now, if you were to compare bands versus cables alone, cables are superior. Consistent resistance by itself in comparison to the band type of resistance will build more muscle. But... Bands, I will say this. Less damaging. Yeah, uh, yes, they're less damaging on the body. That's why I love them so much. Like yeah. in MAPS Anabolic, uh, I recommended bands for trigger sessions. Trigger sessions are these little mini short workouts you do on your off days and you do them super frequently. And I noticed when I use bands, they just worked much better. And it was because they produced less damage. They didn't hurt my muscles as much as if I used weights. And plus, like a lot of these like athletic moves, I prefer bands just because of that fact that you know you can you can get explosive with the bands and they're gonna like stretch uh, with your movement and get like gradually more intense like the harder you push. So it's like it sort of matches that like explosive feel that uh, you can get with these uh, like power moves. Here's a little trick by the way. If you want to do an explosive movement with a cable, one of the drawbacks to do an explosive movement with a cable is you have to it do an explosive jumps a little. Yeah, to do an explosive move with a cable, you're you're going to use a weight that's sub maximal because otherwise you can't move very fast. Yeah. The problem with that is you throw the weight stack up 
and it flips everywhere and it makes a lot of noise and it's not good for the machine. So here's a little trick. Take the, the pin that sticks out of the, the weight, attach a band to that, and, it, and then anchor the band on the floor. And it keeps the – it allows you to move the weight super fast but prevents the weight from flopping all over the place. Mm. And I started doing this. This is back when I was in, in jiu-jitsu and judo. And I'm uh-huh. like, God, I, you know, I want to practice explosive throws. I don't have a partner. I want to use the cables. The problem is if I fling the weight, it's going to flip it's all gonna, over the place. Yeah, so I attach bands. Brilliant way to uh, apply explosiveness. Now, is there a value for bands for people who don't give a shit about getting super strong or or don't care about explosive power and sure. just want to build muscle? Totally. In fact, now you're, start, for rehab too. You're, you're starting to see bodybuilders now use bands. I don't think they know how to use them <laughs> you know, properly or whatever. But I'll tell you what, if you use bands in your training and you're relatively advanced, you're going to build uh, more muscle. It's one of my favorite things that I that I add to my training arsenal. 